Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ryan Fenners. Welcome back to the Fentertainment channel. A couple weeks back on the Fentertainment Facebook page, I had Jacob Kale ask if I could do a comic book style Yeti cup. So this is what I came up with. If you're looking to do something like this or any other kind of magazine style cup, y'all stick around. To get started, I'll remove these labels and I'll give the cups a good wash with Dawn. On my cups, I like a stainless look across the bottom, so I use electrical tape to wrap the bottom of the cup. So to get started, I grab some comic books, I grab some Mod Podge, a foam brush, and some scissors to cut the pages with. So this is the first time I've ever opened a comic book in 36 years. Now these comic books may not be the greatest, may not be the most popular. This is what I could find and this is what I bought. So basically here I'm doing a lot of clippings out of the comic book. Some large, some small. Just make sure to get different sizes because when you go to place it on your cup, it may not fit perfectly. It may have some wrinkles. So just get a bunch of them. If you're new to my channel, this stand I'm using is actually a rotisserie stand. We call them cup tisseries. These are used for the last step of the process when applying epoxy resin. However, I used it here to apply the Mod Podge to the cup first, and then I went ahead and started to apply the clippings from the comic book. Now, when you're applying the clippings from the comic book, you will have what you call fingers or ripples around the edges because the cup is curved in such a way that part of the page wants to bind up so to say when you're doing this just take your time you can push the wrinkles out with your hands and once you have all the clippings applied to the cup go ahead and apply mod podge to the entire cup and let it dry so after the cup has fully dried from the mod podge I took a razor blade and I scored the top of the cup and I gave it like a quarter inch ring around the entire cup. I only did it here just because I needed the two part epoxy resin to fully cover the entire comic book strips from top to bottom. So this is what the cup looks like after the Mod Podge is dried. Let's go ahead and start applying the two part epoxy resin. Okay, here I'm mixing the two part resin epoxy and I'm applying it to the cup. The cup tisserie rotates constantly and I have this fast forwarded 200%. Basically when the cup is rotating, it does not give the epoxy enough time to sit in one spot. It keeps it going and keeps it flowing. I'll be sure to post a link to the cup tisserie video and to the two part epoxy resin video I've made previously in the description below. The two part resin epoxy usually takes about 24 hours to fully cure. Now would be the best time to go ahead and remove the tape. I usually coat my cups before I go to bed at night. I leave them on the cup tissery overnight turning. I make sure the room temperature is around 70 degrees or higher. After the cup has been spinning for about 8 hours, I generally turn it off, remove the cup from the cup tissery, and just set it in the upright position for the rest of the day. Again, I'm Ryan Finners. Thanks for watching the Fentertainment channel. All the links to the products I use will be in the description below. And if you have Facebook, please be sure to check out the Fentertainment channel. Check out these other great videos. And if you haven't, please subscribe. We'll see y'all later.